top of the morning friends and fellow traders this is doug campbell with right way options and this is the morning market prep video for april 23rd 2020. so yesterday was kind of an interesting day in that we had a gap up and then we just kind of went nowhere if we take a look at the diamonds here and just take a look at a quick 15 minute chart you can see we gapped up yesterday and then just kind of drug around here sideways we ended up toward the end of the day rallying but then right at the last few minutes of the day they took most of the that daily rally back just to hold on to that morning gap so kind of an interesting day uh, what I would say is kind of a palpable uncertainty um, in the market. Now, the good news is we held into this consolidation here on the diamonds. But what does that mean as we face a huge day of earnings and economic data today? Well, how about we settle in, grab ourselves something to drink, and let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, as I try to evaluate how I want to approach the market for today, looking at the technicals of the chart, we're actually in pretty good shape here. But there is that uncertainty that we saw yesterday heading into today's big day of data. So we are we are about center of this on the diamonds. We're about center of this um, consolidation range here in the chart. And we face a big day of economic data today, which could move us around significantly. Um, one of the big numbers that are um, obviously coming out this morning is the jobless claims number. Now, so far, the, the market has been able to just totally ignore the jobless claims number and continue to rally. How much longer that can continue, I don't know. Maybe today is another day we just ignore it we have more than 22 million um, americans unemployed that obviously is having an effect whether the market wants to recognize that or not having an effect on the overall economy and as that continues to extend and those folks run out of funds it just continues to get worse and today we have an expectation of a large number of folks being uh, added to those roles. So we'll have to watch that pretty closely this morning. But let's take a look at a few technicals. First off, what I want to note here is that if I if I kind of leave this uh, abandoned baby um, out of this equation here and draw a trend line up here, we were able to regain that trend um, yesterday with that gap back up. We came down, tested it hard, tested this level of price support in this little consolidation, but we held on. And so we have a bullish sign here. The bulls were able to defend that level we also have just that little bit of confusion in here because we weren't able to grab enough energy to even rally up and actually fill the uh, the gap of the day before we came close to a, a gap fill we popped up there but we're not able to hold that gap fill on the day before so the bears are still out there pushing around as well if we take a look at our moving averages one of the things we have to make rec uh, have to recognize is that we're still dealing with a 50-day moving average which is that blue line here 50-day uh, moving average that is still in decline still moving down and we are challenged that with price so whether or not we can poke through there or not I don't know but we have the same situation showing up here on the spy SPY still struggling with that 50-day moving average we've attempted a couple times to break through just have not been able to do it that 50-day moving average is still in decline and keep in mind our 500-day moving average is right here as well providing some resistance along with a very substantial substantial level of price resistance uh, kind of giving us a little bit of a triple whammy right there in resistance in the chart whether or not we can continue to receive these um, ugly earnings reports and these ugly economic data and continue to ignore them um, moving higher and challenge those resistance levels I can't tell you um, Honestly, I'm kind of surprised that we've been able to do that as much as we have so far um, in the light of such bad um, economic data. 
but so far we have. I can tell you in the past, you know, we would get a we would get a day that there were three hundred thousand people going on unemployment, and the market would just tank on that news. Right now, we we hear four or five million people, and the market doesn't care. Um, kind of an odd situation that we're dealing with right now, where we're just trying to ignore the bad news. Um, Let's take a look at the cues here. Now, the cues enjoys a very different situation here. And when I say enjoys a very different situation, it's been able to rally above its 50-day moving average and above its 200-day. One thing to note is that 50-day still has not been able to recover. We're still declining in that 50-day, as you can see. But we do have that level of support in here that gives us a little bit of safety um, in this range. So we did pull back, hold that 50 day um, this week. We've held onto it and we're still showing strength here in the NASDAQ. It's um, kind of remarkable. The tech sector companies are holding up very, very well, very strong here. So everything is going pretty well on that tech side. We just have that uncertainty um, in the diamonds and the spy where we just can't quite bust through those um, resistance levels yet. And then we have IWM that's really serving as a boat anchor. Um, all the indexes are just really dragging this around as it continues to, to languish below the 2018 lows just can't really seem to get any energy going. One thing I will say in a positive sense though is at least it's holding that trend. It's trying to hold on to this price support. And even though the last few days are showing us downtrend decline um, in that move, we are still trying to hold in here, but it is just really being drug around as the weakest of the indexes right now. Um, let's take a look at the VIX. Interestingly enough, in the VIX on that rally back yesterday, we dropped pretty hard in that VIX. The VIX pulled back significantly because we gapped up and really held that all day. So that little bit of a certainty that at least we can hold uh, came up in there and that lowered our level of fear. What was interesting, I thought, is um, looking at a short term chart. Here's a 15 minute chart that fear lowered initially and then it just died on the vine. It went absolutely flat um, there was just it was just kind of interesting that all of a sudden it just stopped declining it just went completely flat um, as if no one was paying attention so here we are we crossed back above the 50-day moving average now we're crossing back down below that 50-day moving average here in the VIX so we just cross 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 up and down a lot of chop here in the market and I think that's what's dis being displayed is the market is just uncertain of the path forward we've rallied a lot uncertain of the path forward and we're just kind of bouncing around here waiting for that next shoe to drop um, and what that might be will it be a bullish a bullish energy that that comes into the market or will it be bearish i don't know let's take a look at t2122 t2122 is the four week new high new low ratio and if we take a look at T2122, we rallied back up yesterday in that little rally, but wasn't it, it wasn't significant. And let's keep in mind that we're up here in the upper part of this range. This means that we still have plenty of upside potential. If we can find something in the market to be bullish about, we certainly can, can continue to push on up here um, in the market. But with um, a such a big day of earnings and economic data, if we happen to find something uh, bearish to react to, then keep in mind we still have plenty of downside room that can be um, realized here in the market. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look at our economic calendar, what we have going on today. And this is going to be kind of an interesting morning on that economic calendar with just a lot going on. Um, as you can see, um, we have jobless claims here at 830 this morning and expectations are more than 4 million people lost their job last week and uh, will be added to the unemployment rolls. Um, 
that puts um, Americans at um, over 25 million people um, unemployed, and that cannot be a good situation for the economy overall. Um, PMI flash, there's, I don't have an estimate here of what they're expecting here in the PMI flash, but um, kind of expect that to not be um, the, the most wonderful warm and fuzzy number that we've seen in a while. And then, of course, new home sales, and they are expecting a substantial decline in those new home sales as folks are just not getting out. They're staying home. They're not out shopping. Um, and, you know, with so many people unemployed, um, one of the things we saw yesterday um is that a lot of folks have pulled their homes off the market, um, having to make some different decisions um, based on their financial situations uh, now um, in light of the virus situation. So there are the impacts that we have. Also keep in mind, we have the um, natural gas report not expected to move the market and the Fed balance sheet later today. Although that is growing ex um, almost exponentially, um, no one seems to uh, really be worried about that. Just keep spending, Mr. Fed. Just keep spending as much as you can. That's what the market seems to want right now. So watch those close. Also keep in mind, Friday morning before the market opens, we're going to have those durable good orders and consumer sentiment. So we'll want to keep an eye on that and think about that as you plan your risk into the evening. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now, our earnings calendar is our biggest day of earnings this uh, uh, so far this season with more than 200 companies reporting earnings. Now, obviously, I can't go through every company that is reporting today, but we'll cover a few of these here this morning that we'll want to keep an eye on. Uh, for example, maybe ANN -N -N is reporting today. Right now, um, T TC2000 is just showing a really wide bid ask spread, which, which would suggest that they have not reported just yet. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. Uh, maybe BX. BX will be reporting. Looks like they're gapping slightly higher here this morning, trying to lift up. Blackstone looking pretty decent here. COF. COF, Capital One Finance. Um, can't really see that, that there's been a report here just kind of hanging out. How about DPZ? Uh, Domino's Pizza reporting. This is one of those companies that could benefit with folks um, really spending a lot of uh, time at home. They're ordering up pizzas um, left and right. And so um, there may be um, an opportunity for this to perform well. We'll have to wait and see. This So far this morning, we're looking at a little bit of a gap down. Um, Lily. Lily has performed extremely well here in the market recently, rallying up very strongly. And it looks like it's gapping up this morning on an earnings report. Looking positive here this morning on Lily. You might want to keep an eye on that one. Um, Hershey, one of those big old defensive sector companies. Looks like Hershey, Hershey might must have missed this morning gapping lower here it had been challenging this resistance in the chart and now gapping lower on its earnings report we have um, this afternoon Intel is going to be one of our bigger tech companies to report um, so far this season that will be an interesting one to watch later on this afternoon um, where that's going to come in um, we have IRM Iron Mountain will be reporting a real estate trust might want to keep an eye on that. We have Pulte Homes also reporting today. Let's see, Pulte looks like looks like they might be trying to move a little bit higher this morning, so that's one to watch. A few airlines, LUV will be reporting today. Um, UAL, I believe, is reporting today. Um, we have UNP, Union Pacific, reporting today. Let's keep an eye on that. And Granger. Ranger will be reporting today. So quite a few reports that could move the market around today. Um, but I think most most likely we will be very focused on that jobless number at 8.30 a.m. this morning. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, could you click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click those uh, that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And I want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed. We're 
the channel is growing and really it the growth of the channel i do my best job to put out good quality content without hype and without prediction um but honestly we can't grow without um you folks that are that are watching these videos clicking those thumbs up buttons and leaving comments you guys are awesome i i truly truly appreciate it honestly every day i'm humbled when i read the read the comments um it it you guys are awesome thank you very much and as the channel continues to grow if you guys have any ideas suggestions or things that i can do to improve um also please feel free to put that in the comments um so let's take a look at some stocks that are setting up now yesterday i mentioned several stocks and they ended up performing really really well not that i can predict that but just looking at good patterns here one was yum i i mentioned yesterday yum took off went up nicely yesterday now i would suggest i wouldn't want to chase this at this point and yum is possibly moving into some resistance here in the chart may continue to move a little bit higher but let's watch this for that next potential entry into the trade mcdonald's was another one um whoops that i mentioned yesterday had a nice little pop up here this is a nice little consolidating move here um, off of this trend and you can see popping up nicely going to have to deal with a little bit of resistance here soon so let's keep an eye on that and let's remember earnings on 430 so it makes it kind of difficult for some of these uh, charts and trades to to do much with um, but you know something to pay attention to um, nice chart how about pins pins pinterest had a, a big move yesterday popping up out of this resistance area there's um, some considerable resistance right in there popped up through there and just went like a rocket shot taken off looking really really good uh, moving on higher this morning it may be um, opening just slightly lower um, so i wouldn't chase this i would wait for the next entry into this trade um, let's take a look at this trend if we find a trend in here let's see if we can just get a rest consolidation or pullback that moves us back toward this trend and then we have that opportunity to move on higher uh, pins would be one that I would put on my list keep an eye on um, stocks um, all of a sudden I just drew a blank um, I had a stock in mind <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a senior moment. Stocks like Starbucks. Starbucks had a nice move yesterday. Um, pushing up nicely, running right into this uh, little price resistance here in the chart. You can see it across this area. Nice little move up, so keep an eye on that. It is possible, whoops, I didn't want to move that line. It is possible this could pop through that resistance here. Uh, break on through. If we can get then a rest or a hold in this area, there may be more opportunity there in Starbucks. Um, Intuit is a stock I mentioned and talked about. I like this pullback that held support and held trend. And Intuit took off yesterday, picking back up. Now, it still has resistance in the chart and a significant level of resistance it has to deal with. But Intuit is holding up very, very well. If this were to rest in here or consolidate, kind of slide over here under that resistance, we'd want to watch this for that next opportunity for that to break on through holding into that trend so a few charts that are looking pretty good and continuing to show some good quality signs um, in in these charts um, keeping a close eye on energy energy has been obviously very very volatile the last few days but I really like this chart in XLE now the reason I'm going with XLE uh, on this and by the way I do own this I've added to the trade even the reason I'm going in XLE is I'm trying to avoid um, individual company earnings and um, looking for that rally in energy because I think eventually energy is going to come back up now I can't tell you if it's going to hold this trend um, you know all the way up or not but I'm just slowly gaining a position in here um, watching this move and I think what I would be looking for here initially is um, uh, maybe a fill of this gap 
And if I could get a fill of this gap, I would be really happy with that. And that would be just kind of a 50% move back up in that chart. But keep an eye on XLE. It could be setting up here again. Let's watch that closely. If this just kind of lays down in here and rests or and begins to pop through, we have that next upside move coming here in energy. So watch that close. Now you could certainly go to some individual companies um, to try and find some of those entries. Schlumberger is trying to move up in a very, very gradual trend. It's being challenged right now by this resistance. But if that holds in here, there's opportunity in these charts. And you'll see um, like CVX. CVX is also one of those oil sector companies that are showing really good bullish signs, trying to come back around. Um, we'll have to keep an eye on those as we continue to fluctuate so much in those oil numbers. Uh, keeping an eye on that. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you a very, very great success in your trading. Be careful out there. Keep in mind we have a lot of data coming. Also keep in mind we're headed toward that weekend and um, the path forward for the market is still pretty uncertain. What the what our country is going to look like, what's the new normal as we wait for some kind of vaccine and we try to emerge from this lockdown. That's going to be interesting to see. And I, I suspect that we're going to see a slow and rather stagnant economy as we try to emerge from this. Um, um, and as we continue to see infection numbers go up and, and things like that, it, it, it's going to be a challenging time for the market. And we're really in an uncharted water here. Um, no one really knows how this is actually going to come out. So just stay very, very focused to your price action, cling tightly to your plan and focus carefully on the risks that you're taking um, um, on overnights or heading into the weekend because anything is possible. Y'all take care. Have a great, great day. And we'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Have a good one.